Okay, hello everybody. My name is Logan S. Welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. This is the Indigo Disc, and hopefully this time this battle goes better than last time, because if you watched my last video, it was short, because uh, I got my rear end handed to me on a silver platter. So, I have only leveled up like two or three levels, and I have changed up a little bit of the move sets, changed up my strategy a little bit, changed a held item or two, so... I'm going to see how this goes, and if you're seeing this, I hope that means it went well, because, okay, I've already said this, he's my pal, because I really, really want to just play through this story. I am a story-driven person, I don't need my game to be too difficult. If I wanted that, I would make it more difficult. So, if this doesn't work, we're going to come back one more time, and it's going to be a lot easier, because I'm just going to over-level. I know some people don't like that, but you know what? I'm here for the story. So I do consider him a friend. For my part, Kieran and my cat has decided that now that I've started recording is the perfect time to start walking in front of me where I can't see. For my part, Kieran is a younger brother to my dear friend Carmine. Something in him has changed. He is not his usual self. I find this deeply concerning. If possible, I want to be the one to help him. That being the case, I cannot afford to lose. Well, you've already beaten me once, so... Our battle starts now. Okay. My new strategy going into this is I am taking care of this stupid Starkimry as quick as possible. And in order to do that, uh, I want... Yep. Starkamry is a big one. Dugtrio is a problem too, but I should be able to take care of Starkamry on this first turn, I hope. We'll see. Uh, Archaladon, I'm going to go ahead and use an Electroshock on Starkamry. It's going to go first because I have put a Power Herb on it. Abomasto, I need this Blizzard to hit. And then I'll set up a Roar Veil on the next one. That's fine. The Earthquake isn't going to do too much to me at first. That did more than I thought on Archaladon, but oh well. My defense is at least going to rise. Okay, please go because I gave you the Power Herb. Yes, thank you. Power Herb used up, that's fine. That should, you should live with Sturdy. Your glasses have fogged up? Okay. But. Dang it. I was afraid of that, that you were going to get Stealth Rock up. But. Oh well. Just please let Blizzard hit. I don't remember if Blizzard hits guaranteed in the snow or not. But there we go. Oh! I was not expecting the freeze. That is clutch right there. Now you're going to send out Empoleon. Well, this has definitely gone better. I am not opposed to using a potion in battle. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that on you. And uh, ice and electricity. I mean, ice and... Is ice not very effective against it? Uh... But at least it'll hit both. I only got five. Yeah, well, you know what? It'll hit both, so I'll use it. I'll prefer to guarantee taking down the Doug Trio. And at least getting a little bit of damage off on it. That was not a lot at all. Okay. But, this is at least going much better than last time. Okay, I was not expecting the almost Oko, but okay. Alright, who do I want to send in? You've got Empoleon out, I don't know who you're sending next. So, Empoleon...
you're probably gonna have a super effective move for Flygon, so Flygon wouldn't be good. Um. Oh man, I can't get my Snow Veil up. Aurora there, I didn't think about that. Should have I should have put that up. I didn't think. Um. You know what? Let's try Metagross. Ah, you're a Uniclus. That's a pure Psychic type. Yeah, another point of stones. Cannot, cannot do anything about it. Uh, should I try Electroshock? It's going to have to charge up, but it should take down and pull on it in one hit. Hammer Arm. Nope. Uh, let's just go Meteor Mash on the Reuniclus. Alright, our Chaladon, I need you to live a hit. Which your defense has been boosted. Your attack's been boosted twice now. You're gonna use Hydro Pump. Metagross Clutch. Nice. You're gonna use Trick Room. Okay. And you have Leftovers. I forgot about that. I did look that up that you had leftovers, but no big deal. Psychic's not effective. Yeah, against Psychic, I didn't think so. Meteor Mash again. Oh, you're going to protect, of course. Go ahead. Your Hydro Pump's going to hit. Not very effective. Ooh! That was a big hit. That's fine. Because Empoleon is going down. And at this point, I need to heal my Arch Aladon. I cannot let this thing go down. Not with it having this much boosted stuff. No, I don't want Hyper Beam. That Reuniclus is going to be annoying to take down. Scizor. Quad, quad weak to fire, but I don't have my Blaziken in right now, and I don't want a hard switch right now, so... We're just going to do that, and... Um... Just Hammer Arm, I think. Yeah. Well, this is making me wish I would have put that black belt thing on my Metagross. I didn't think about that. I forgot Metagross had a fighting type attack. But I could have boosted. My speed. Oh, I forgot that lowers my speed. Dimensions return to normal, and the snow is now gone. Okay, so. No, I wanted to check my stats. I wanted to see. Plus two, plus two. Okay. So, Arch Aladon. Let's just concentrate on it's a Scizor. I think I can beat with Blaziken, worst case scenario. Let's get this Reuniclus out of here. Wait, does Reuniclus have any damaging moves? Because if all it's going to do is Trick Room, Protect, Energy Ball. Okay. And Psychic. Yeah, it can, that thing can hit me pretty hard. So we are definitely going to try to take this out. No, oh, Hammer Arm is not very effective. Meteor Mash. And there goes my cat right off the microphone. Oh, that did way more than I thought it would. Scizor used Pounce. Just like this cat wants to do right now. Thank you for the defense boost. That move was not originally going to uh, go for you, but... Ah, now you're sending out your Metagross. 
Of course. Um, not really effective, not really effective, not really effective, not really effective. The only thing I have that's effective is a drift shot. Oh gosh. You know what? We'll let it charge up on Metagross. And hopefully take down the Sizzle, maybe, if we lucky. Time is short. Let's wrap this battle up. I hope we can, Amar Amaris, with me winning. Ooh, you're going to Terrastalize, I'm guessing. Oh, okay, you're going to make that a pure skill type now. That's fine. I'm surprised she didn't Terrastalize the Reuniclus. Because that's, you know, it's her only non... Uh, steel type. But okay. This Electro Shock, I'm using it way more than I thought I was going to. Thanks to Arch Aladon's uh, ability. I changed its ability so that it, uh, ooh, a crit, thank you. So bad luck can also play a role in battles. That's good to know. Thank you. You didn't realize crits can make a huge difference in a battle. Okay, we are getting close. So now Hammer On is super effective. Might as well keep using it. We're down to our last Pokemon somehow. Thanks to my stamina. That that ability is so clutch. Boom. See, all I needed was a, a slightly different strategy. And I took her out. With basically no problem. I only had Obama Snow that fainted. And who knows, maybe he could have lived if I would have or she, I don't I don't know the gender of it, but I am not enough, I see. No, you're enough, Amaris. Trust me. I just came in with a much better strat. Gotta be honest though, I thought I was gonna have to overlevel by like ten levels, but hey. Maybe there's hope for me after all when it comes to battling. The strength of one's Pokemon reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Kieran is evidently greater than my own. No, you care plenty. Don't talk like that. Loganus, you truly are a kind person. Alright then, time for a photo. We must ins uh, ensure that your victory here is properly commensurated. Oh, little heart, no emotion. I would say a woman after my own heart, but I've gotten better at showing emotions as I've gotten older. I will give you this TM too. It contains a favorite move of mine. Hard press. What does hard press do? Crushed with an arm claw. So damage, the more HP the target has left, the greater the moves power. Ooh. So that's a good move to use at the start. It's up to you to help Kieran. I entrust you. I entrust my wish to you. Time for me to go. So long. Okay, so that is one of the Elite Four down. And, wait, do we get the ability to fly? Or is that not until after we beat the DLC? Yo, champ in the making. That's one Elite Four member beat. Things are looking good for you. Amaris sure uh, leaves an impression, huh? It's wild seeing her and Carmen talk. You'd never guess it, but they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. The thing about Amaris is, as rigid as she looks, she's got a sensitive streak a mile wide. Remember that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from the outside. You just might be the one we need to shake things up in the uh, League Club. That's it from me. Good luck with the remaining Elite 3. Alright, Elite 3. Who should we do next? Uh, first of all, we're going to have to heal, but we'll take care of that on the way. 
or when we get to the next spot. Do we want to do fire, fairy, or dragon? I feel like fire is going to be more difficult for me because I don't really have good type coverages for it on my team. So maybe, okay, fairy's weak to poison and steel. I've got a couple of steel. You know what? Let's go, let's go fairy. And then we'll go dragon. And then save fire for last. That feels like a good, good uh, way to go. First of all, no, nope, I, I can only glide. So it's after we beat it, we'll be able to take out Coridon and go wherever we please. Heal my Pokemon. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even realize I caught my three Hoenn Pokemon all in the Ultra Ball. What's this? Sorry, I didn't mean that. Light screen, okay. Don't need it, but thank you. See, talk to you for the Elite Trial. We're gonna move straight on into this one. Welcome to the Coastal Plaza. We are the team that supports Miss Lacey of the Elite Four. And you're Logan S, right? One of the BB League challengers? That's correct. You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to get 50 more at some point, or 30 more, because I don't have enough to finish them off, but... Oh, well. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. We need you over here, Miss Lacey. Coming. Hello there. Oh, if it isn't Logan S. So glad you decided to play pay me a visit. Please follow me. I'll show you to the trial site. What do we gotta do here? Is it anything? I don't think it, we're getting anything else with uh, Coridon and Ridon, are we? Thank you for coming to the Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And I really am sorry the way I protested you joining the BB League. Of course, it's true that it's quite irregular under the bylaws of our school clubs, but mainly I didn't want you to get dragged into the drama that's been troubling the club lately. My cat is directly in the middle of this screen. I suppose our trial has already officially begun, though, so let's get to it and have some fun. This trial I came up with is a Pokemon quiz. Ooh, okay. I'll ask you five questions about Pokemon. If you can answer them all correctly, then you pass. Okay. Hopefully these aren't too difficult. Yes, I'm ready to attempt the quiz. Great. Then I'll just get everything ready. I mean, did we really have to walk all the way out here just for this? Hello, Pikachu. What are you up to? Question one. Alright, here we go. And look, it's everyone's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu, here to help. And with that, question one. Pikachu is an electric Pokemon, electric type Pokemon, well known for pr producing electricity within its body. But which part of its body does it store the electricity it generates? Oh, and those little red cheeks. It stores them in those little red cheeks. Yes, it does. Nope, nope, yeah, there we go. Oh, Yoda, do you like that? Do you like that screen? You like that Pikachu? That's my cat's. One of my two cats' names is Yoda. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Pikachu stores its electricity in the electric sacks in its cheeks. Thank you from the Pokemon anime from my childhood. If you poke the sacks, you get a little shock. But don't you think they are just super round and cute? Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the next question. All right, what do we got? Venonat. Take a look at Venonat here. It's bigger than you'd think it would be, isn't it? But it's also fluffy and squeezable and terribly adorable, really. So here we go with question two. 
Even on the darkest of nights, Venonite is able to use a certain part of its body like radar, which allows it to detect surrounding objects. Which part of Venonite's body acts like a radar? So radar sends out signals and receives them. So it would send out the signals through its eyes. Would it also detect them through its eyes? Or would it detect it through its antenna? Are you going to separate those two or are they both the same? So I'm going to say eyes first just because it definitely sends the signal out with its eyes. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. That's right. It's Venonat's big eyes that serve as radar. Isn't Venonat even more adorable when you think about how it sees a whole world we can't? Yeah, it's insane how much there is out there that we can't see, like infrared and ultraviolet, and that's just, oh, it's so interesting. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to question number three. I I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Getting weary of my quiz? How about a cup of tea? Or maybe of these three Sinus tea siblings. Here's question three. Sinus tea like to live in precious antique teacups. But there are a lot of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which cups are genuine antiques. One of these three synesty is an antique form synesty, meaning it's it found a real antique cup. So which one is the real deal? Okay, so it has something to do with the cups. They're all chipped. The tongue's coming out there at the chip, so it's not that one. Oh, wait, that middle one. I think I see it. When you, you look at the bottom of it, and I think uh, uh, the middle one has a mark the other two don't have. Yeah, you know, there's no mark on the right one. There's no mark on the left one, and there's that little black dot on the bottom of that one. So that one's the antique. Okay, I did not know it was that. I thought it was more obvious than that. Ding, 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 you spotted it. That's right. An antique form synesty can be recognized by the mark on the bottom of its cup. But it doesn't matter uh, whether they're antique form or phony form, they're all so darn cute. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next question. And that one was a little bit more difficult, I didn't know that one. Off the top of my head. This is the Meteor Pokemon, Minor, Minior. It comes from uh, all kinds of different colors, you know? I'll first ask you to take a good look at this pinkish Meteor for me, okay? Oh god, I'm gonna have to follow it. Oh, Yoda, you're not making this easy on me. Okay, I think I can see everything from here. I'm following. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna be real embarrassed if I miss this. I'm not reading her text just because I don't want to take my eyes off of it. I think it was this one. That could have been bad. Ding, 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 you did it. Even after they returned to their meteor form, you still managed to find the right one. Aren't Minior uh, adorable? Their correlation varies based on what they eat. Coloration, sorry. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the very last quiz question. All right, here we go. Okay, Gramble. Oh look, here comes Gramble. Maybe it heard the word pink and it decided to stop by. Okay, it's more purple than pink. This little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon. It's always with me. Our last question, question five, will involve Gramble here. Gramble is quite... delicate? Really, it's delicate? And lovable. And lovable Pokemon, of course. But can you tell me this? Where I, uh, when I take a nap with my adorable Gramble, which part of its body do I use as a pillow? I mean, there's only one logical spot you would use as a pillow. And anybody who's been in a relationship before knows it's the tummy. Or the lap, but, you know, there's not really a lap here. And the tummy is so much better. Ding, 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 that's exactly right. I use a soft, adorable tummy. Especially if you're somebody like me who has a, a good-sized tummy. 
it's so it's soft softer than a pillow when i cut a look i swear to god this cat is moving its head every single time you can't even see which way i'm looking how are you blocking me every single way when i cuddle up to it it's so soft and cozy we both fall asleep in just seconds and that's the end of my quiz you managed to get all five of my questions right which means congratulations you've officially cleared my elite trial yay so now we get to battle her and see how we do Ooh, i haven't changed my pokemon around uh but i'm leading with a steel type so why don't we head back to the plaza And I can at least try to go ahead and get a Roravel going, I guess. Yeah, I'll lead with the same Pokemon. Since you passed my Elite Trial, you've earned the right to challenge me to a battle. But what do you want to do now? Ready to move straight to it? Yeah, sure, let's go. Got it, no time to waste. Then, right, let's get to our positions. Ready to go. Okay, this should be about far enough. Let me properly introduce myself for this. I am Lacey of the Elite Four. I really didn't expect I'd get a challenge from someone like you. Rightfully, you do belong in, to a different school. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. So, uh, let's see. First of all, should I tell you I mostly use the fairy type? There's just nothing like an adorable pink fairy, right? They're weak to poison and steel. Okay, really? You're just going to go ahead and straight up tell me? Anything too uh, cosmic or cutting just doesn't suit them. But you must know all, all this already, right? And I, I already knew that a little bit, yeah. Now for this battle. I'm not going to hold anything back. I want to be sure you walk away with a proper understanding. After all, you're about to learn that cuteness is real strength. I think I looked it up, and isn't her father a Steel-type user, so she uses Fairy and it's weak to her father's? Anyway. Uh, I do have an interesting, well, maybe not interesting, but I remember Fairy is weak to uh, Steel-type because of Supernatural. I love the Supernatural TV show. This time you'll be facing me with my party as a member of the Elite Four. Um, I thought you guys were the Elite Three now. Oh, you're going to lower my attack? Go ahead. I think both of these are special attackers, so... Ooh, I didn't put an item back on our child. Eh, no big deal. We're just going to go straight up, try to hit you with that, and Aurora Veil to protect us. Oh, and you're going to go Light Screen. And that actually does help you. That probably saved your Gramble right there. It's a rock-solid strategy to go after weaknesses, which is why I'll be turning it right back against you. Okay. Against physical and special. Yep, you, you did turn it right back against me. But I am faster, so... Ooh, is Whimsicott... It's Fairy Grass. So I think... That means it would be weak to steel steel, right? Yes, it would. So, but, uh, yeah, let's go with this on Whimsicott. And let's try to Blizzard and hit both of them. Because I know Ice is still going to be effective against the two. If Abomasto doesn't faint. At least we got a Roar of L up. And thankfully my cat has decided to move, so now I can see the screen no problem. Dang it, that would have... That would have KO'd both of them if Abomasto could have just gone. Oh well, I want to bring in my Blaziken, since right now he could actually be super effective against one of them. Might outspeed them? I don't know. We'll see. So Flash Cannon back on Gramble. 
and Blaze Kick on Whimsicott. I know Blaze Kick isn't the best, but it's nostalgia, okay? From behind the opposing team. Dang it. Oh, thank you, Blaze, again for living. At least Blaze again did something. It finished off Whimsicott. And then Archer Aladon is going to take down Bramble. What you got for me next? Ah, Primarina. And Slowbro. So if I leave Blaziken out here, Blaziken's definitely fainting. But I think I'll just risk it and let him faint and send in somebody on the next one. But I don't know. Uh, should I go Electroshock? Electroshock is really good. Last battle. Um... Yeah, and I think I'm more scared of the Slowbro right now. So we'll see if we can build that up. And... Where we have low HP, I'll try the reversal on Queen Marina. Well, that's probably not a good move since it's fighting, but... And it doesn't matter, I got taken out anyway, so... Oh well. And I think that would have been resisted anyway, so no big deal. We gonna charge up. I don't think Slowbro can have sturdy. It could have a focus sash, but I'm hoping it takes it down in one hit. Wait. The power herb doesn't get used up? I get it back every turn? That did not do as much damage as I thought it would. I thought that would do way more damage. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, should I send Reuniclus out just to try to put up a reflect and light screen? Probably. If it can live a hit. Uh... Tell you what, while I try to get that up with him, I don't want to risk my Arch Island on fainting, so I'll be a coward again. And with you, I think. I think you guys were going to have more light or er, special attack, so. And my defense on Arch Island is going to be going up, so. Let's help the special defense first. Especially since you're only raising my defense and I think you're all special attackers. Oh. Well, you were going down that turn no matter what. And I swear to God, Yoda. Yeah, that's right. I'll shake a bag at you. What did I just say? Thank you. Sorry about that. I think I'm in trouble now. Um, this fairy's gonna take down my Flygon quick. I just don't think Metagross. I don't think he'd be able to stand it. I think I'm gonna lose this battle. But let's try Meteor Mash. Hopefully we can take down the Slowbro. And I mean Should I try a Psychic? Uh, let's just go a Psychic on it just to try to get a little bit more damage. Okay, at least it lived a hit. Okay, please let Reuniclus. Oh, of course you had that. Oh, Citrus Berry. Okay, I thought I had the thing. Hey, Reuniclus, good job. 
I didn't think you were gonna live. Okay, at least the slow burns down. Okay. I haven't been terrestrializing this whole time. How creamy. Let's see. Would it be better for me just to go ahead and terrestrialize Metagross? It probably would. I think I am going to terrestrialize Metagross. Because it turns it into a pure steel type. Which is going to be super effective, hopefully, against both. It should be. And then, Reuniclus, you're just going to go down anyway, so maybe you can get up a second light screen. If you live long enough. But then I'll be down to just my... Uh, ooh, I wonder if... I, I don't remember what Flygon's Terra type is. Maybe it would have been best to keep... Uh, at least that was a Oko. Maybe it would have been best to Terrastalize... into ground type of flag on and ground type. I can't remember though. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, you're definitely going to terrestrialize your uh, Excadrill, aren't you? Make it a fairy type. You're going to break the mold, whatever. Should I try to guess that that's what she's going to do and just take it down? I'm going to try. I'm pretty sure that's what she's going to do. Uh, Earth Power only hits one and it's not going to be super effective after this. So, uh, I'll, Nope, Dragon Claw is not going to be effective at all. Because it's Steel type. So I guess, and then Dark's not going to be effective against it. Um, I guess I just need to go with Ground. It's just going to be neutral, so. And then, just in case a deck extra drill doesn't. No, she's going to have to it on the premium. Okay. All eyes on our great big terrestrial heart. Time to get even. Okay, I didn't see the rest of it, but you are definitely... Terrastalizing. Yes, into fairy. Called it. Predicted it. Hi, horse. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta crit. Oh my god. And I'm definitely going down. You mother. <sighs> the crit. Why did you have to get a crit? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We can definitely beat her. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to up Reuniclus just a level or two. Or four. Sorry, didn't mean to use that many, but oh well. I think we stick with this. Well, Abomasto is going to go down right away. So it might be best to lead with something else. Should I lead with Metagross? Just to lead with the steel type and just try to obliterate as quick as possible. Let's try this strategy. And then if we lose again, I'll have to rethink my strategy in another video. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and battle. Yep, no time to waste. Yep, that's definitely far enough. Yep, we've already gone through all this. That's all I need. 
Just start the battle. Start, start the battle. Why do I have to do this dialogue again after I've already gone through it once? Like, I understand doing some of it, but you have to do all of it. It's bad enough listening to you the first time. Alright. So I'm definitely not going to use my Electro Shock until she brings in the Primarina. So we should just be able to do Flash Cannon on both of these. I don't think it'll OCO them, but... Well, Flash Cannon immediately Flash. Let's just see how it goes. If I can OCO both of these... Light Screen. Mm, I think only one of mine is there. Yeah, and the light screen saved it. That's fine. Meteor Mash. And they both lived. Stomping Tantrum did a lot. And again, I really don't want... my Archer Aladon to faint right away. So I'll give it that, and I think Gramble is the bigger wrist, so. I can't remember if Metagross, I think, yeah, Metagross went first last time. Well, not first, but it went in front of the uh, Gramble, so. Good, Gramble's down. And did you send him? Okay, I'm gonna send it out now. Good. I can go ahead and use my Electro Shock on it. It's gonna be super effective. I'm gonna get a special attack boost. Let's see. Meteor Mash on the Winter Crop. Finish it off. Ooh, thank God that didn't crit. Ooh, I didn't think of. Oh, please don't let Premier go first. That could have been a disaster. I am so glad that I thought that power up was going to be used up. Like, I thought it was a one use item. Oh, it didn't know. Okay. Oh, I was hoping it would. Please, Archild on live. Please live. You're going to use. Oh. Well, we did pretty pretty dang good. I think our Chaladon is going to be my MVP. Um, send in Reuniclus, I think, just to set up some screens. No oh, way, I could have done that with a bomb of snow. I didn't think about the bomb of snow. Oh well. So we're going to set up a light screen. And then hopefully Metagross can take down. Uh, they're all just regular effective, so. Is it, do I have any. Really, I forgot to take off Tackle. I don't want to use Tackle. I'm not going to risk a Tackle. What if Zen had done it? Okay, I'll put up a light screen. Your light screen should be coming down soon. Flamethrower. Actually, that's not too bad. Probably my light screen is what saved me. I'll creamy. Uh, should I guarantee that Al creamy goes down? Just in case, I'm going to have you Psychic on Slowbro. Just in case that does Oko it. Okay, I thought it was going to, that's why. Not that it would have mattered, the boot would have switched anyway, but oh well. Special Defense fell, I like that. 
Unless you crit. Good. I live. Light screen. The opposing teams. Okay. You're going to terastalize into a steel type. Should I heal my Metagross while I set up a Reflect? I think I will. I'll set up a Reflect and I will heal my Metagross. Thank you. Time to get even cuter and cuter. So. I sometimes wish this animation wasn't so long. Like, I wish you could skip it. Because, I mean, this takes, what, like a full 20 seconds or so? 25 seconds? Probably 20 seconds or so. Oh, I forgot that high horsepower hits that hard. So, Metagross goes down. Okay, that's not good for me. Um, I mean, I might as well throw Flag on him right now, just because it has, it can actually do something in Slowbro, I think. And just to try to make sure Slowbro goes down, we'll do that and definitely use Earth Power on it. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, okay. I think we can do this. Even though both of my Steel Type, I mean, uh, yeah, Steel Types are gone. I don't have any Poison moves, but I think we got this. Get an extra grill. So let's send them flying with your adorable, destructive something. Terra Blast. Oh, you walked on my computer. I hate it when you do that. Oh, it didn't kill me. Good. Crit. Thank you, Flygon. Why did you have to land that kind of hit? No, that's just not right. And Psychic. I knew we could beat her. That could have gone worse. That could have gone so much worse. Could have gone better, too. I hate losing, but I love seeing such cute Pokemon. Well, thank you. Look at this, look at this. Did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling it out? No, I was I was looking off in the other way. That, that sky is just amazing. Oh, it's almost too much. They were just too cute, even for me. Oh, I'm gonna be smooth. You're the cutest, Lacey. Bzz, nope, wrong. We're not talking about me. We're talking about my Pokemon. Your Pokemon were very cute as well. Phew, you know, it's just not right for two people to hog all this cuteness between them. Why don't we wrangle up the cute Pokemon here for a cute picture we can share with everyone? Elite Four Lacey defeated. Ooh, this one is just too cute. I'm gonna make myself a backup copy or three. I'll give you this as well as proof of your cuteness. Alluring voice. Is my voice alluring? Probably not, but... With an angelic voice, it also confuses the target if its stats have been boosted during the turn. Oh, during the turn. That's very specific. You really are very strong when you get serious in battle. I wonder how far you'll be able to get facing off against the strongest trainers at our school. I'll be keeping an eye on you and your progress. 
Goodbye. Watch out for men with pitchforks. Let me guess, Drayton? Yep. Yo, yo, champ in the making. So, that's two Elite Four members down already, huh? You sure are crushing it. Lacey's all about cuteness. And that's what helps her make her Pokemon stronger. She's so into her team, training the little cuties doesn't even feel like work to her. Wild, right? I bet it's the same for you, huh? You work so hard at it because you like it. Unlike a certain someone who seems busy running himself and everyone around him into the ground just to get a little bit stronger. You know, Lacey's polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. Probably because you have a lot more potential, but you're lazy. Seems like things are going well with the BB League. Right, Loganess? What's up, mighty champion? Scoping out the competition? I was getting worried. It'd be so disappointing if Loganess had gotten weaker. Really? But you seem as strong as ever, thankfully. Loganess, go all the way. Don't go losing. We'll just ignore those two losses I've had so far. I'm two for two. I'm two and two. I can't show you how strong I've gotten if you don't even make it to me. Yeah, someone's good and riled up. Anyway, you got places to be, right? Better not keep you. See ya. I mean, Drayton, good luck with the remaining Elite 2. Drayton, I'm going to challenge you next, so if you could just stay right here and we can just get it over with. No? Okay. But that's going to be the next battle. We're going to do the last two Elite uh, 2 members, or Elite 4 members, whatever you want. We're going to do the last two of the Elite Four in my next video. It's too, uh, this video is getting too long for me right now, so I'm going to call this video here. If you liked it, consider giving me a subscription. It would really help out, but thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Take care.